And now let's cover VPC flow logs. So to get those into Splunk, there's really three ways you can do it. All three share the same initial common uh, setup, which is you've got to enable the VPC flow logs in VPCs that are going to be written to a CloudWatch log group. Uh, but then they're going to that CloudWatch log group is going to have one of three subscription filters. Uh, and there's only one subscription filter that you're allowed per log group. So you can do a Kinesis subscription filter, which we're actually going to talk about through the remainder of this section. Um, or there's also a Lambda function for which there's a blog post on blogs.splunk.com walking through that step. And we just also announced or released a Kinesis Firehose integration where the data can also be sent to an HTTP event collector. And going forward, this is becoming now the preferred integration method uh, because one, it's the most scalable. Two, it has some resilience in it as well as the ability to uh, write failed messages that might not have been made to uh, Splunk, write them to an S3 bucket uh, as a backup. And there's also, you might see in the Splunk interface, a CloudWatch logs input. By all means, do not pursue that. It's going to be deprecated, but more importantly, it, you're limited by the AWS API uh, transfer rates. Um, so there's a very large chance that you'll hit that transfer rate maximum and have data that gets dropped and not captured as a result. So again, do not pursue that. So now let's go into the actual steps for setting up VPC flow logs through a Kinesis stream. And here are the steps. Basically, you got to create first the CloudWatch log group where this is all going to reside, the, the VPC flow logs, that is. Then you can go into the VPC settings, enable flow log collection, uh, which all can still be done through the UI. You will have to create some new permissions, uh, as you'll see here through the rest of this video. And also then after that, we can create the Kinesis stream. Uh, however, in order to map the Kinesis stream to the CloudWatch log group, the CLI will be used for that. That is something that is not available through the AWS uh, UI today. Uh, and to do that, we are going to go basically and look at this documentation here on the AWS side for subscription filter creation. It's going to walk us through it very nicely. To set up VPC flow logs, we first need to create a CloudWatch log group to put them in. So we've got a CloudWatch under our AWS console. We go to logs and we're going to create a new log group by going to actions with create log group and with nothing selected there. And we'll give it a name. And now that we've created it, we can come back out here, go to VPCs, and to enable it globally at the VPC level, we just click on VPC, select your different VPCs, and then action, create flow log. And then filter, we're gonna, no filters, just get everything in. Role, so you need a role that can capture the flow logs, but also write them to uh, that uh, log group. And in this case, we're gonna use our blanket role that we created initially and destination log group name. It's fetching the existing names. Here's the one that we just created. So we're gonna point it there and create flow log. And at this point, it has, if we go here to flow log, it should have saved uh, what we just did. So now we have this, we can go back to our CloudWatch log group. And so come into logs. Here is this new log group for VPCs. If we click this and actions, notice under subscriptions, there's nothing in the UI that enables you to stream this to a Kinesis stream. There's only AWS Lambda and this other one here as well. We would have to go into the CLI and uh, basically map it to a Kinesis stream. So first, let's create a Kinesis stream. So we can go back in, out here and then go into Kinesis. Uh, let's see. There it is. And I already have this VPC stream. But so once that stream is created, and let's just create a new one to show the process there. I'm going to use one shard, but depending on how much data, how much traffic you're generating, you might want to have this number larger. And in a production environment, you typically will want to have this number larger. And we'll call this temp stream create stream. So the process of creating it is pretty easy. There is one correction I have to make regarding permissions for the VPC flows. Uh, so when you're creating or enabling VPC flows at the VPC level, I did get an error down here, uh, access error right here in this message, uh, because apparently I did not have adequate permissions with just the add-on EC2 role that we created earlier. So to fix that, let's start over. Let's delete this guy. We're going to create flow log. And then this time here, we're going to fo uh, follow this 
wizard here to set up permissions. So when we click on that set up permissions, it'll bring up another window uh, where it'll have this IAM role flow logs role and ask to create a new policy or to use an existing one. And then here is what needs to be in that policy basically. So the log create, des uh, describe, put log events in particular as well, uh, all need to be uh, enabled there. Uh, and the resource can be just for that VPC uh, itself, but uh, bottom line is this policy or a policy like this needs to be uh, in, in the system. And so if we go back here, uh, having created this earlier, here is this flow log role and destination log group back to the original one and create flow logs. And this should fix that problem. And with the Kinesis stream created, we're now ready to map it to the CloudWatch log group as a subscription filter. So over here, here is the CloudWatch log group. But as we went through earlier, there's no way to do this through the UI. So if we go back here to our deck, we need to access this link over here to basically do the subscription filter through the CLI. Uh, but I have also taken the liberty of just summarizing all the steps here in this next slide. So first, we, the, we need to create this trust policy for CD or CWL.json file. Uh, then we're gonna load it into AWS with the AWS CLI. Uh, we need to create this other one, permissions for CWL. Also load it through uh, the AWS CLI. And then the part that really needs to be done through the CLI that there's no way around is this last one, the subscription filter mapping. Um, so let's go ahead and do all this. Uh, first, let me show you what I have here. Uh, so here are two files, trust policy and permissions. In the trust policy, we're basically telling it to allow assume role uh, for the logs, uh, CloudWatch logs in Oregon. And then in the permissions, we are basically telling it to allow to write to the Kinesis stream, this one in particular here, the temp-stream. Uh, that's mapped to my account, that is in US West 2, it is, that's the actual RN, ARN of it. Um, and then also uh, this pass role that we all, that's also required. Uh, so let's go ahead, go back to our slide here. We're gonna copy this command. All right, so the fact here that uh, we just executed it and here are the results, that means it successfully applied it. So we can go on to the next one. Here we go. So this next one will load the permissions for CWL.json file and map it accordingly. And it returned nothing, so that means it was successful. Uh, and coincidentally, if you see up here at the top, I had an error the first time I ran this, uh, and a lot of it might stem from these slashes that are expecting a new line uh, at, at directly after them. And in my case, I might not, not have had a new line, and so hence it returned an error. Uh, but I resolved that. Now the results here, nothing gets returned, so that's okay. And then going back to complete the last step. And now we'll copy the last step to do the actual subscription filter mapping. And here it is. And voila. Uh, so the fact that, again, nothing returned, that means it worked. And let's just validate uh, what we have here. So we'll come back to our browser and notice before refresh here, this shows none for subscription filters and refresh. Now here we go, Kinesis temp stream. That is exactly what we just did. Now a couple of troubleshooting steps here or things, that, problems that I came across uh, just for your reference. When it, within the AWS CLI, originally I was actually in a different region. So I had to go to run AWS uh, configure over here and make sure that I was mapped to the right region. Uh, so because the last command here, the put subscription filter, it was looking for a log group that exists in that region, uh, but I was in a different one that did not have it, so I got an error. Um, and then the other thing to also be cognizant of, uh, permissions wise, is we go back here to the IAM console I'm using a secret key that's uh, tied to this user, this add-on user. If I select that user, uh, there's this create role um, that the user has. At one point, I had to change this and say IAM, IAM colon star uh, when I had an error originally. And once I made a change and said IAM star here, uh, I was able to com complete the, the transaction or complete the steps. Uh, but 
I had to make that change. Somehow I changed it back to just I am create role and things are still working. <laughs> uh, but so just be cognizant that it maybe for the very first time you do it, uh, there's something that might be created and then deleted. And so needs the, the user might need full I am uh, control uh, there momentarily. And quickly referencing the documentation in AWS, here is the subscription filters page where it walks through all the steps uh, that, that we just followed. I just took the liberty of copying, pasting, and naming, renaming some things accordingly in uh, PowerPoint. Uh, do note, as I might have mentioned in a, another section, do not leverage this copy. This is a big no-no. You want to just highlight the content. I've had trouble copying and applying uh, the messages or events that way uh, into AWS in particular, where I've had various errors that have ret been returned. And then last bit, um, so this particular set of steps is for one account. If I go to another page I have here, here's a cross account log data sharing with subscriptions. And so if we scroll down here and this create a destination, the first step, this is basically the same thing that we just did, but there's an extra step in here to allow a different account ID to publish to the, a central Kinesis stream. So you definitely want to look at this or uh, consider this when you have many accounts. That way, everything just going into one Kinesis stream versus many. Enabling the VPC flow lock collection on the Splunk side is a relatively easy process. Once you have the streaming to Kinesis complete, you just come in to the add-on under the input screen, go to create new input, and come down to VPC flows. There's Kinesis that's recommended, and we give it a name put in an account, it loads the regions from the AWS CLI, and we select the region where this was located, and then it's now fetching the stream names, and then here are the two of them. Uh, we select the one that has the VPCs, or flows uh, stream to it. Um, and then the main things here, source type is VPC flow, uh, and then you can change the index and put it in a different index. And that's it. And to validate that you have VPC flows actually being processed in Splunk, you can go to the app. Uh, here is the Splunk app for AWS. Go to security and go to either one of these two pages, traffic or security analysis. Here is a security analysis page showing rejected and accepted traffic over time, as well as a map showing location of source and destination traffic. Uh, also color coding for the rejected versus accept. And then also the other way to just see what events are actually coming in, you can run a search of AWS CloudWatch logs colon VPC flow for your source type. And there you go. Then you'll see your VPC flows that way. So what are the best practices for VPC flow logs when you have many accounts? Well, like pretty much other services, the whole centralization strategy is what's most optimal, where you'll have the subscription filter that we went through here basically point to a centralized uh, Kinesis stream versus ones that are local to each one of these accounts. And by doing that, then this data, in this case, it's not Kinesis stream, but a Kinesis firehose. Uh, that data will then be sent to uh, the Splunk HTTP event collector, and the Splunk add-on will not be involved at that point. Um, you could stream it to a Kinesis stream instead of a Kinesis firehose, and that Kinesis stream then will involve a Splunk input that would fetch that data uh, and subscribe to that Kinesis stream. Uh, but so large environments, you definitely want to pursue an aggregation strategy.